Hey friends, it's been a while, but I thought this video was a really fun idea, but it ended up taking forever, so that's that on that, okay. Um, so this whole video came to be, I mean this idea came to be, when I thought to myself, what exactly is an alien ant farm? Is it like aliens with like a regular little ant farm that they're just, they're just keeping? Is it like alien ants on a farm. I don't know. So <laughs> that's, that's, that got me thinking like what kind of like image like could you make out of like the name of a band, you know? So <laughs> I don't know if that idea is really cool or really freaking stupid, but here we are. Um, so yeah, at first I didn't use a reference for this, but then I did. Um, yeah, it was looking really derpy. There's like a fine line between derpy and creepy. I mean, sometimes, not always, sometimes things are just creepy, but like, you know, sometimes you try and it does not work, it just looks stupid. So yeah, I ended up using a reference for that, and thank god I did because it looked awful. So yeah, the image I went, uh, eh, I ended up going with is like this giant ant alien who's keeping like people in like a little farm, like raising them to num num. <laughs> It reminds me kind of of like the Promised Neverland. I don't know if it actually like shows, or no way. The orphanage is the farm, isn't it? I don't freaking know. <laughs> I haven't watched it in forever. I mean, in forever, it it's pretty new. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I hmm. so anyway, I ended up using like the actual album cover. I say that as if there's only one album. They have a couple albums. I don't. I only know this one. Um, so I use that as like the coloring, but like. I kind of wish I didn't. I mean, it looks cool, but it just looks like straight up fan art, you know? Instead of like just an unrelated image just based on the name alone. I guess, I don't know. Um, it still looks okay, I guess. I really don't like how the fence like turned out. I probably should have made it like straighter lines and stuff instead of just freehanding the whole thing. I mean, I kind of edited it, like moved the lines around so they were more straight, I don't know. I don't know, the side, like those, like the, the not straight, Defenses that are like angular, sort of. I don't know how to explain it. They just look weird. I don't like it. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, for this, I tried to go with like bands that maybe, like, I tried to go like off the name alone. Like, obviously, I know the bands and I know like at least one song by each one. Um, but you know, I didn't just want to pick my absolute favorite ones, you know? Yeah, I wanted to kind of use ones that I didn't, like I wasn't that all familiar, all, hmm, all that familiar with. I think Alien Ant Farm is the one I'm most familiar with out of the ones that I picked. Because like I was listening to them and like, you know, the whole idea came from them, you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, I like their music. It's, am I just going to review each band? Okay. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to say about the drawing. Yeah. I think they're probably most well known for their superior cover of Smooth Criminal. Yeah. Yeah, I said what I said. It's better. Fight me. Um, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I like I like the rest of the album too. It's pretty good. I think my favorite song on the album is Stranded. Um, yeah. Also, I like Happy Death Day. When like the movie Happy Death Day was announced, I was like, they better have the song in the freaking movie. And then they didn't. I was sad. But I haven't seen the second one, so maybe, maybe they did. It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, back to the actual drawing. Yeah, I the shading on the people was really hard. I kind of just like... The people, they're just like little silhouettes, so I didn't put that much effort into them. Maybe I should have, I don't know. I was just not having it. I was just done. Yeah, it, it was not the best. I actually kind of hated it as soon as I finished, but looking back now, I think it looks fine, I guess. You know, it's not great, but it'd be like that sometimes. Okay, next up is Drug Restaurant. And, okay, they've been in some, like some scandals have happened they're like a they're like a k like not k-pop they're like just a rock band from korea and i think the singer i think uh hasn't been drinking his respect women juice i guess and there's a whole scandal around that i mean i don't know like how recent that is or anything but you know i don't feel bad like drawing art of the band and like listening to the one song that i know i mean it's not like it's a bad thing if you do, like, 
want to distance it, bleh, distance yourself from it. But I don't think it's bad to like not distance yourself from it either. Anyway, that's just a disclaimer. Anyway, onto the actual drawing. Um, I kind of started out using a reference of like a really busy restaurant, but like that wasn't working. So I just ended up making like this one guy sitting in the corner or girl. I don't know. I wasn't really thinking when I drew it. It was just like, okay, this is just a person, whatever. I like to think it's a dude. Maybe. I don't know. I, I was kind of going for a dude, maybe. I don't know. Um, that's not really important. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted it to be, like, really, like, red and, like, purple vibes, but, like, the red wasn't working, so it this just kind of looks pink and purple. Anyway, so I don't know what the heck a drug is, so I just kind of, like, put, like, an IV-looking thing, like, hooked to the back of his chair and, like, just kind of going into his arm. Well, he's just chilling at the table. He's like, yep, this is... I have ordered this at this restaurant. This is what I want. Um... Yeah, so that, like, wasn't enough, like, drug for me. I wanted the, the drug to have more emphasis, or, like, more emphasis on the drug part. So I was gonna give him, like, a plate of, like, something. I didn't know what, because, again, I don't know what the heck a drug looks like. <laughs> but, uh, so instead I, mm, instead I kind of made it, like, more surreal, I guess. Like, I made the windows really big and, like, the, the table and the chair really, really tall. So it looks like he's just, like, way up there, like, for some reason. It's just... I don't know, it just kind of looks like some weird imagery, and drugs give you weird imagery, or so I've heard. I've never done a drug in my life, except for, like, prescription drugs. Um, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I started coloring with, like, the red and the purple and stuff, but it wasn't really there, hmm, working that well. I had, like, my little color palette there. Um, but, yeah, I ended up kind of scrapping it. I mean, I kind of vaguely, um, used the same colors, but not, like, how I planned. Um, yeah, it kind of looks dark and pretty and just kind of surreal, I guess. And, like, the sky is pink, so that's kind of a weird thing, too. Um, yeah. Um, I wanted the background to kind of, like, be kind of chill, I guess. Just kind of, like, monotone-ish. But then I wanted, like, the sky and, like, the character to pop more. Um, I think that kind of worked. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, it's so boring just watching the coloring, because it's like, dude, get on with it. We know. You're a window. Shut up. <laughs> what? Anyway, um, yeah, I've, hmm, there's not much to say about this, is there? Um, yeah, I made his hair pink, just because I, I like pink, I don't know. It just, it's lighter and it popped more against the darker background, I guess, I don't know. Um, I kind of wanted it to be a lot darker, like the background. Maybe I ended up doing that later, I have no idea. Um, so since I have nothing to say about the drawing at this point, let's talk about the band. I know one song by them, and it's called Mistake, and it's a freaking jam. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> it's, it's a really good song. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I don't, like, my sister, like, listens to a bunch of different, like, K-pop and, like, rock groups from Korea and stuff, and I listen to, like, a handful from each band, or, like, one from each band, and I'm just, like... Like, that's cool, that's enough for me. Like, I'm not super into it, you know? I mean, I'm into it, I like it. I'm just not, like, super invested in each group, I guess. Except BTS. BTS was, like, the first one I got into. They're not, like, a rock group, they're, like, a K-pop group. I mean, everybody knows that already by now. I mean, they're really popular. Anyway. <laughs> um, their old music is better, Fight Me. Why am I talking about BTS now? Um, <laughs> yeah, K-pop. Fun. Anyway. Um, so yeah, the, the, in the foreground is a lot lighter, I think. It, kind of pops against the thing, but it matches, like, the stars really well, I think. I don't know. It looks... <coughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I like how it turned out. The end. Okay. Um, and the last one I drew is the birthday massacre. Um, yeah, that... Fun times. I, I really liked this idea, and I think I did a good job with the thing. I really like this one. Um, this one, again, I only know one song by them. And that song is blue, and I freaking love that song. And I went to listen more, of, listen listen to more of their stuff recently, and it, I wasn't feeling it, and that made me really sad because blue is so good. I freaking love that song, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I kind of wanted this one actually just started as like just kind of playing around, but then I ended up sticking with it. I wanted the final product to be like her holding a weapon or something and like the main character like in the foreground and then like bodies in the back, but I ended up doing the opposite, I guess. Um, yeah, so she's in the background and all the dead bodies are in the front. Fun times. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what good composition is. Like usually I just draw like 
a character, like a fan art or like a character design, just put them in there, no background or anything. I'm not used to doing like full illustrations like this. Um, so yeah. Um, so composition, not my strong suit. I like colors more and that's where I kind of put more effort into. Um, so if the composition looks bad, um, fight me. <laughs> um, so I outlined it in pink because pink is pretty. I wanted it to be like really pastel, but like the blood be really bright. Um, yeah, so basically what's going on here is she's like putting body parts into like the presence, I guess. I don't know, but like there's already a party. I don't know what is what the narrative is here. Like if they're at a party and she kills them or if like she's planning a party. I don't know. I put all the bodies in like pretty dresses, so maybe they were at the party. I have no idea. Um, yeah, also I forgot to put bows on the presents, which is freaking stupid. I am an idiot, <laughs> but oh well. It's whatever. And I kind of put like the knife in the cake, like maybe she's like done with it. It's all bloody. She just like sticks it on the cake like, yeah, yeah, we're done here. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I'm really bad at like tables and stuff, obviously, as, as you saw in the last one, the drug restaurant thing. Tables, not, not good. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I actually drew something similar to this in art class, like, a couple years ago, like, in college. And it was not good, but I kind of wanted to do, like, a something similar, I guess. I mean, I didn't try to do something similar, it just kind of, like, I just kind of realized it was similar, I guess. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, pastel dresses, pastel balloons, pastel everything, yeah, that's, that's the vibe. Um, I kind of got, like, Rotten Girl Grotesque Romance vibes, because, like, when she, like, puts Luca's head in a box or whatever and gives it to Kaito or whatever, that, that's a fun time. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was really struggling with, like, the color, like, combinations on the presents. I didn't know, like, what two colors look together. Like, I think they all look together, like, look good together, I mean, frick. <laughs> like, as a group, but, like, in pairs, it's like, this is hard, you know? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I really wanted green in there, but I ended up scrapping the green. I love green, but it just wasn't working for me, I guess. Um, since there's nothing else really to talk about right now, let me just plug my... Plug? Is that the right word? Like, shout out. My commissions are open. Hooray, that's, that's the sponsor. Again, why would anyone sponsor me? I have like two followers. Um, <laughs> so... Actually, I got, like, a hundred recently. That's, like, not many. Like, it doesn't make me, like, a YouTuber or anything. But, like, it's cool that, like, a hundred whole people enjoy my videos. That is, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, my commissions are open. I'll have the, the infos in the description. Like, the, you know, yeah. Wait, hold up. That was a lie about me having, like, a hundred whole people following me. My brother recently told me that he has, like, six YouTube accounts or something, or like four, I don't know, and he like subscribed to me on all of those, so really it's only like 90 something whole people, <laughs> but still that's a lot, and that's, uh, it's like, whoa, what the heck, man, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, um, I tried to like shade like with pink, did I already say that? I feel like I did, oh, it's done, okay, so yeah, I used like a more smudgy, smudgy style, yeah, it's really fun, I will post all these on my Instagram to, so you can see the whole, the whole thing, you know, because this is a really bad, this is bad, <laughs> like, way of showing it. Anyway, yeah, the end. Goodbye. I will have more videos very soon. Yes.